Breaker. I'm on that bus boy bus shit boy though. Shit though. Why be Splash, this Dope Era Magazine exclusive with my brother from another mother. My guy. You know, y'all y'all done seen him on the site, let's say, four times so far. This is number five. You know what I'm saying? He go by the name of Splash Gang. Splash Gang original. I call him Splashy. You know what I mean? So, what's happening? And it, man, dope air, we in the building, man. Yeah, man. For the record, my name's Jamaica. Man. <laughs> Splash Gang is the company, man. Splash Gang original is the Instagram. You know what I'm talking about? So motherfuckers be pulling up talking about Splash. My name is Jamaica, man. But it's good though, you feel me? I do this shit for my people, man. So, you know, you wanted me to pull up. You wanted yeah. you want you said you wanted that uh we had some things to talk about, so what's what happening? What's really the deal? Man, art life, man. This shit get political, man. You know? Uh, changing the game, man. Seeing how everybody went from being rap niggas to uh, being promoters, you know? To being part of everything that's going on right now. So I'm just tapping in with those that's tapping in with me. You feel me? So keeping myself in the box. I'm finna bounce back on you niggas though, you feel me, like, you know, I've been hearing about motherfuckers saying uh, East Oakland, West Oakland, Frisco, Richmond, the Bay Area, washed up, we ain't, you feel me, doing nothing, like, nigga, straight up, nigga, I'm finna bring that shit out, e Mozzie, yeah, you said something, but you was the same nigga that put Mafia on that verse, on that Instagram, you heard me fucking with it. So at the end of the day, you know, it's competition with this art shit. It's competition with this rap shit. I'm a friendly competitor, period. I just like bringing everything to the table, you know? Before this art shit was popping, I was rapping. So a lot of this shit I was going through come from a real perspective of art. Like, for real, for real. So I'm clearing the air, man. My motherfuckers be wanting to know what I be on. The Splash Gang music shit hit the table. Y'all better be ready. Because it ain't consistent in no paintbrushes. Like, none of that. Like, this, 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 the, uh, what you want to call it, you know? Uh, uh, another way of getting my way in. You feel me? Like, open up doors for myself. So I respect everybody that fuck with me, the support, you know? Came a long way, man, you know? That Yellow Bus Gang shit was real. We was fucking with it back then. He stopped when young niggas ran around rapping. <laughs> but now, you feel me? It's like so much didn't happen. Like now, I'm gonna turn it up. I'm pulling shit out. You niggas ain't ready. You niggas ain't rapping. Like these niggas be rapping, but don't be saying shit. So you know, from 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 one mouth to another. Like if you talking about that shit, be about that shit. If you niggas entertaining, entertain. But me. Yeah, I'm coming back. I'm finna bounce back on they ass. I pull up to Big Brother the other day. He talking about, oh, Jamaica the artist, man. Why you stop rapping? I said, nigga, I ain't stop rapping. Just put that shit on hold. I'm getting paid off art. Like, nigga, I ain't into uh, putting hella videos on YouTube. I ain't getting no money behind it. Jumping in niggas' up videos and ain't got nothing going on. Like, I'm not finna be the nigga in the background saying, oh, bro, fuck with bro. Nigga, I'm working. I'm getting to it. So I'm just trying to fuck with those that's fucking with me and to keep it real. Half of you niggas ain't saying shit. A lot of you niggas are running y'all mouth. So this shit finna get real. Like, when I say real, I'm pulling cards. I'm exposing niggas. You feel me? You niggas talk about y'all street niggas and what street niggas in Santa Rita. You feel me? This is what street niggas in the pit. So shit. Splash gang finna get serious. Like, I put this shit on my neck for a reason. Straight up. And I ain't telling this shit to entertain you niggas. You feel me? I've been a street nigga. Before all of this shit, I got two penitentiary numbers. I put this shit on my neck for real, man. I ain't gotta worry about nobody saying shit about me. My record been good. You feel me? All the gangsters know me. And if you don't know me, you feel me, OD too. Niggas probably looking at this interview right now. Fuck you, nigga. Straight up, I'm gonna keep this shit gutter. If you don't like me, say something about me. Cause you probably said something to Lil Mama, 
said something to the other nigga. But at the end of the day, you're going to respect this artwork. You niggas going to respect that Jack and Mural. You niggas going to respect that dope era stove mural. You niggas going to respect anything I put my hand on. Period. Because I don't think y'all want me to put my hands on you. I'm like, on some real shit. But, you know, positive side of it, I'm blessed, man. I just want to be able to tell my story. And what is that, brother? Man, growing up in Oakland. Living the life. Talk about it, man. I mean, we here, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you, know, home, you feel me? I, I say, I say, the biggest start off was my mama, you feel me? She was rapping. Fucking with uh, Uncle Dean, Uncle Frank. They was doing their Legion of Yoon thing. You feel me? Back in like 88. You feel me? They, they was my, my, I was a young nigga, bro. My brother half pint from from Funk Town. He originally from Detroit. He a J Cat though, but that nigga had me at, in, in labs and I was hella young. You feel me? And I didn't know what I was doing. We we at the old school Paradigm. Back when we used to be down here on San Leandro Boulevard. Like a lot of motherfuckers that's young, my age, don't even know what the Paradigm was. You feel me? And that was like the after hours, like how niggas had the Moose Lounge. Like you had the Paradigm. So, we was young niggas up in that motherfucker dancing and shit. My brother was a half pint. We was a teaspoon dancers and shit. We had on like spray painted overalls and all that other type of shit. I'm five years old. We dancing in front of motherfuckers. Like, they back there playing old school uh, Be Legit album. I was a young nigga, like six years old. Like, what the fuck I'm doing at these spots looking at these niggas that's our, like, our forefathers of this mob shit? Be legit, forty. You know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers like uh, uh, G Stack, the delinquents. You feel me? All of that shit. I was a young kid around. So now to be grown and still see that influence of the Bay Area still tight. You feel me? It's still what it is today. It's just the history is lost. A lot of these kids don't even fuck with the real shit. They on that other shit. Like, let's just bring back this real original. Bay Area movement, you feel me? And turn it up for the real ones. So, I ain't gonna do too much talking. I gotta keep motherfuckers interested. But when this album drop, I'm gonna try to push for like, you know, January, February. But other than that, check them YouTubes, man. You feel me? Just look for Splash Gang Music. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't gonna put too much out there. I ain't gonna tell who featured. I fuck with those that fuck with me. And at the end of the day, you feel me? It's going to be some real music. If I ain't experienced it, I ain't finna speak on it. Like, I'm not writing no raps about what I'm thinking I'm going to be on. Or what I want to be on. Like, all of this shit is stories. I'm telling real stories. So, we going to fuck with it for what it's worth. You know what I mean? Show enough mixtape, man. You know what I'm talking about? You niggas ain't knowing about the old school, uh, the, what's it, Last Dragon? Yeah. The Last Dragon, man. Show enough. Mixtape. Bitch, I'm the master. <laughs> you feel me? So, I mean, fuck with me, man. Fucking with y'all. Dope era, live, exclusive. You feel me? My mind made it. You know what I'm talking about? We doing that type of shit. Splash. I'm living in the city where it's hard as hell. Late nights apply white, cutting dimes to sell. Mama told me slow down, so I'll pop the seal. I'm toting Glocks in Walmart because these problems real. Baby,